Hello guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a how-to video. In this video, I am going to teach you how to use Composer. Composer is a easy to use, it basically codes stuff for you. As you can see, let's see if I have an example right here. This doesn't have, no. Right here, I have one. Let's see, as you can see, we I'll be teaching how to input an image how to input tables and how to link to other pages as we go and but first we got to know the definition of html html html's definition is call it says hypertext markup language a standardized system for tagging text files to archive achieve Font, color, graphic, and hyperlink effects on World Wide Web pages. World Wide Web pages is www. And so, from there we can go and let's start up a different website now. Not this one. My bad. Let's go to here. Let's close this out. Close that out. Let's delete this. As in Composer. You can use HTML tags and just type, or you can use the actual source code right here, or you can just preview and type there. But most of the time, most people use normal. In my personal opinion, I don't use this anymore. I use Sublime. The only time I use this is from a web designing class in school. But right before we get started. I'm going to show you how to make a new document. You go here, create a new XHTML document, and create. And then you want to go save. Am I right? No. You want to go here. My bad, my bad. Site name. Let's go to test website. Then select directory. I don't have a folder for it yet. So let's just pop it inside a customer work, I guess. And file. Save as index.html. Boom. No, not there. We want customer work. Boom. Now we got the test website right here, guys. For some reason, it saved funny. I have no clue why. But yeah. Let's get this in here. Let's type test website. There, test website. Now let's go down. Type in YouTube is the best website out there. My YouTube is the best website out there right now. And period. And as you guys can see, it shows you the text right here. We have BR, which I personally like, does the breaks to be a straight line. Just better look. You know, title. Uh, test websites. That doesn't matter, I just like keep mine simple. And then hit control S to save it. Now if we go here, desktop, uh websites, customer work. We pull this up. That's what we got. Let me put these onto the side there. This is what we got, which is what we typed out here. Now if we do that and then control S, S refresh, it fixes our correction. So now you guys want to add a background image, which we will add right now. It needs to be a JPEG because whenever you're uploading a photo to the internet, you always want to use JPEG. JPEG has the highest resolution and the best resolution out there. 
So let's go to file. No, it's I always use the background name. I always use it. I don't know why. Right there, page colors and background. So you go to here. Uh, desktop. You should try to find your photo faster than I can because I cannot find it whatsoever. <laughs> My bad, guys. Here, we'll just use an amplified logo. Okay. As you can see, it only takes up the portion of the screen. This portion only right here. Thing that we need to do, if watch if we do this, it will unclose more. So now let's do. Uh, I like to do this part in HTML over here. You go oh, uh, footer close open. Then you do. You have to keep copyright everything. Copyright fifteen. Uh. Test website. Uh, t -t -t -t. And you go all rights reserved. And then you want to put develop by infuse. Infuse. And that's how you want to do that. No clue what's going on right there. Why there's a break. Who cares? Footer. S. And it's footer right there. Now if we refresh this. It duplicates the image all around. Which. In this episode. We're just going to teach. I'm going to teach you how to center this font. You want to go to a line center. A line center. Then you are going to take this. You want to take the font color. Make it a grayish color. Then keep those black. And then font size larger. So we're just going to control plus to make it bigger. I'll we'll make it. No, never mind. That made us zoom in. I just now learned some control plus and minus will let you zoom in on the website. Holy crap. But then guys, also, like I said, here's the background image, where it's located, here's how to center text. Now I've always done it with the tag, like, if I want to center this, this is how I've always centered text. Center, boom, and then, no. Center. That's why I've always centered text, and it works just fine. As you can see, it centers it. Which I prefer using the center tags instead of style equals text alignment center. It's too much. But you guys don't need no HTML code for Composer because it automatically does it for you. All you need to know how to do is. Make it a simple setup. Mm. Let's use custom colors. Let's put a nice, like, yellow look in there. Yeah. Alright, well, guys. <clears throat> that's going to be the end of episode one. How to code your website. HTML. And next episode, guys, keep this test website located because I want to teach you how to import a regular photo like a website logo into your website and I'm also going to teach you how to link sites within each other 
you guys, I hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, and comment. But don't forget, if you're new, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the future. Bye.